that's why we're such a wonderful quartet. We are really uh, quadruplets. We, you know, we're all wish dressed in is white. That maybe this could be a narrative or a story that could be told. We are an extraordinarily different group of people. In 1991, I was part of the uprising against Saddam Hussein's regime. There's a need for this trigger now, because we don't have it. A, 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 an old, ancient, yet new concept of how to break these walls down. These four extraordinary accomplished women who come from diverse backgrounds will provide a brief glimpse into their lives and tell their stories just as we did the first night at Zainab's home. Ladies and gentlemen, the panelists of Face to Face. Please welcome panelists. Face to face will allow us permission to look at the soul of another and to understand the heart of another and to let down those guards that tend to divide us. Reverend Marcia Dyson. It's time for me to speak myself because you've got to speak for those without exploiting the people as well. And I think women are least likely to exploit. Harriet M. Goldberg. Nothing is impossible that if you really put your mind to, to, uh, to it, you can indeed create what looks like miracle. I think we've been connected on a soul level. And uh, we have in common that uh, our work and our experiences. There needs to be a narrative now about this. There needs to be a narrative about the fact that four women can come together with four extremely different backgrounds and yet can meet at some common value that holds us together. Whatever has happened to our world, that we can undo it for the benevolence of each of our religions in which we represent this evening and in our lives. And for the countries that we represent, that there is a commonality amongst us.